my name is Cecilia Delfjag and I'm co-founder and CEO of Humansense. Uh, two years ago, I left a senior position to work full-time on how to rescue people from lifelong complications after stroke with Humansense. And now we are raising 500,000 euros for the pilot launch of Stroke Alarm that indicates stroke before it's too late. Anyone can suffer a stroke. Uh, a stroke may arise from a blood clot uh, or a brain bleed. And if you, have, if you know someone who has suffered a stroke, you know how severe the consequences can be. It can take a long time or you will never return to a productive life. It affects the individual, the whole family, friends and work. And stroke is the most common cause of disability and, uh, in adults and the second most common cause of uh, death in the Western world. And the cost for the society is huge. 20 years ago, the stroke patient was last in line in the emergency room. There was uh, nothing to do. The patient should only go to rehabilitation. But today, healthcare can cure stroke with thrombolysis and thrombectomy. And here we see an X-ray of a skull with an ongoing stroke. Here is a blood clot. And with thrombectomy, the blood clot is removed and the blood flow is restored. So finally, stroke can be cured. But three out of four arrive too late to hospital. Either they don't understand they're suffering a stroke or they can't alert due to the stroke and you only have a few hours to get to hospital. There has been tremendous improvements in stroke care during the last decade or so, or two decades, but no one has solved this. Here is our business opportunity. Stroke alarm is a medical device, and we have a patent pending on the um, uh, general concept and implementation details. Uh, two bracelets, one on each arm, are paired to a mobile phone. And uh, since the data is analyzed, an al if a stroke occurs, our algorithm det detects it and starts an alarm chain so that the patient can get to care for curative treatment. And uh, we can identify the stroke affected arm. Uh, with over 95% sensitive percentages, sensitivity and specificity within 30 minutes. Here's our team. Uh, I started the company in 2014 with my husband Johan, who's a no neuroradiologist and the inventor behind Stroke Alarm. Uh, and he's also an associate professor in radiology and doing research on this. Uh, Peter, our technical genius, he has a background with working with startups for the last 20 years, specialized in embedded systems and signal processing. And uh, we have Kalle Åström, who is professor in mathematics at Lund University. And he's together with R Richard Battleson, responsible for the algorithm and the data. Uh, Christopher Hughes, who has more than 20 years of experience from startups, is the chairman of the board and the Lund University is one of the owners. And we also have a close collaboration with Katarina St. Carlson on health economics. And everyone in the team except Katarina has invested in the company. So who should use Stroke Alarm? Well, there are well-defined risk groups for stroke. TIA patients uh, have had a short, epi short episode of stroke symptom and then everything is normal again. And uh, it was that a, a blood clot was struck, stuck in a vein, uh, but was, it was removed by itself. You could call it a mini stroke. And they have 12 to 20% risk of having a stroke during the first six months. Stroke patients have 9% risk of having a second stroke during the first six months. And with atrial fibrillation, you have a three to 5% annual risk of having stroke for the rest of your life. 
we are focusing here on uh, TIA patients. Oh, strange. Uh, it's uh, highest risk and greatest uh, health economic benefit. And here we see how large these patient groups are in each geography. Uh, for the T and stroke, the figures show the number of incidents every year. And the figures for atrial fib fibrillation show how many are living with the condition. We see that many patients. Which for us means a potential sales scenario like, like this. Uh, stroke alarm will be seen marked by the end of this year. And then we start a pilot study, a pilot launch with the neurological clinic at Skåne University Hospital in the beginning of next year. And we, we continue launching Stroke Alarm to a couple of regions in Sweden during next year. And then we continue with the EU and the US. And uh, we, we use Sweden to learn prior to further expansion. And we have started a, a dialogue with two global medtech companies who are interested. And uh, they're interested in uh, agreement for distribution or partnering. And one of them will help us with uh, uh, with market and sales competence during this autumn. So Stroke Alarm, it will be sold to healthcare providers for high-risk patients. 1,200 euros per patient and six months. And uh, in some markets, it can also be insurance companies. That depends on how the healthcare is set up in each market. Uh, and in the pipeline, uh, we will develop a rechargeable product for AFib patients and rehab for long-term use, in which is a really big market, AFib and rehab. Pre-man evaluation, 2.5 million euros. Uh, we raise 500,000 euros for milestones of further development. It's for C marking, stroke alarm by the end of this year and then starting the pilot launch um, and the pilot study in the beginning of next year. We have secured around 80% of this round so far, for, so far, and now we're looking for the remaining 20. And uh, we will uh, have a second round next year. So if this is too early for you, then you're mo more than welcome to contact me for further rounds along the road. So the question is, do you want to help us cure stroke? Thank you.